So SBR stands for sequence batch reactor. And what that means is that the system will work in batches or cycles. Uh, I'll just quickly talk you through the cycles. Um, so we said that a treatment plant has an inlet point and an outlet point. We have uh, the first kind of phase will be our charging cycle. So all the um, waste will come by the inlet point in the tank and that will be retained in the, in the first chamber. Uh, what we then do is then that the tank will take the solids from the primary chamber and take them into the secondary chamber where all the magic happens. Um, so in the second chamber, we, um, a second cycle will start and that will be the aeration cycle. So air, um, oxygen is introduced into the tank um, uh, via diffuser, uh, which is at the bottom of the secondary chamber. Um, and that is powered by a, um, um, a compressor that's situated outside the tank uh, and that air uh, will pretty much give oxygen and therefore life to the bacteria that naturally grows on the, on the waste and will start eating the solids away. Uh, once it stops aerating, uh, the solids will settle at the bottom of the tank, uh, leaving the clear effluent treated effluent at the top of the tank and then that effluent is um, taken from the tank via sampling chamber and out again either to a drainage field or even better to a water course and that's how an SBR works.